Ben here, 180 Fiat Boat Hunt, and we're back on Felix Snow Beach to do some metal detecting. But there's something different this time. When I got home today, the missus sneakily has been speaking to someone behind my back. It was Nigel from Regton. They've been working behind my back, sneaking around. And when I got home today, I got a lift. Isn't it beautiful? I was so eager to get down here, guys. I've just come straight down to the beach. It's still in its box. The light's not great, guys, so I don't know how it's gonna come out the camera, but wow, I can't believe it. I just thought I'd come straight down here and give it a go. So I'm not gonna jibber jabber, guys. I just wanna get this beast set up. That's why I've come straight down to the beach. I've not even had my tea yet. So excited, I just wanna get swinging with it, but we're losing the light, guys, so I'm not gonna ramble. I'm just gonna get it set up and we'll see what this bad boy can do. On the beach. Here it is then, the Garrett Ace Apex, brand new in its box, as you can see. Right, let's uh, get this bad boy set up. You don't want to see me getting all this out and screwing stuff together. That's boring. Here it is then guys, the brand new Garrett Ace Apex, out of the box and all freshly set up, ready to use for the very first time. You probably noticed the location change and that is because yesterday when I got down on the beach and opened this for the very first time, it was quite late in the day and I'd only just got the package, I didn't know nothing about it and I was so eager to get down here and try it, so that's what I did but we lost the light. So I've come down today so I can do a proper test with this machine in the daylight and we can see what's what and what's going on with this multi-salt mode is what I'm really interested in. So I brought some targets with me today that I've found on previous digs Obviously, I'll give them a little detect with the Ace Apex in multi salt mode, and we shall see how well it copes. So, I'm eager to get on with it. I know you're eager to watch it. Let's just get on and do it. It's a lovely area that I've chose here in Old Felix, though, today to do the multi salt test for the very first time with the Garrett Ace Apex, and we'll see how well it copes with picking up the targets. Yeah, looking forward to it. Let's give it a go. Right then guys, I've got my hand in, got my, I'm holding it. For the first time ever, I'm, I'm giving it a swing. I've not turned it on, I just wanted to feel it. It's, oh, it's, it's lovely, guys. Really well balanced, actually. That is, um, it's two and a half pounds, I do believe. Um, which is, well, very light. Um, yeah, that's, that feels lovely. I'm gonna walk down to the water's edge and turn this on for the very first time, guys. Like I said, it's the next day. We ran out of the light yesterday and I didn't want to film in the dark with a brand new machine so we waited for today to come down here so i've still not turned it on so this is the first time ever with the brand new garrett ace apex i'm going to turn it on in the worst possible place you can probably turn a machine on is right here i'm going to turn it on here in this yucky salt water let's let's turn it on and see how it reacts for the first time here we go oh i've also got the headphones not attached at the moment so we can all hear what we're hear, hear what we're dealing with right so it opens up straight away on coins and you can already hear there's a few chitter chatters so i'm guessing if i press menu sensitivity right we want to whack that right to the top i want to give this beast a proper test you see volume is up high iron volume is up high frequency we're in 15 so what's the button right let's yeah let's start on five and see how we cope with that. It shouldn't be too bad in five, if I'm honest. Channel. What's, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, channel. Oh, I'm guessing that's to set you if you've got disturbance with other detectorists. Or... Right. To make this test fair, I'm going to have it on zero, open to everything. I'm going to keep the iron audio on. I've took one notch off the top of the sensitivity. And... We're going to do this first test in frequency five. Let's try that. Operate. Ground balance. It's ground balancing down to 13 to me. Right. You can't, you can't detect with that. You, you just can't. Let's turn the iron audio off. Yeah, obviously can't detect that. Turn the iron audio back on. Let's take the sensitivity down one notch and see what happens here. Right, quite clear. We cannot detect like this. No. So, let's 
keep the sensitivity two off the top. I'll tell you what, we'll keep the sensitivity from now on two off the top for all of this test so we can see how it's working. So now let's go into frequency 10. Operate, ground balance. 33. Right, quite clear we cannot detect in this. Well, I wouldn't be able to detect in that. What's real and what's not, no idea. Right, now let's change it to frequency 15. Operate, ground balance. No, you cannot detect like that. No. So, let's go frequency 20. Operate, ground balance. Ground balance down to 30. Let's give this a go. No, we cannot detect like that. Let's go backwards, so I'm going over the same ground. Let's change it to multi-frequency. Operate, ground balance. Mm. Oh, absolutely not. It does not like that. No, I can't detect like that. Right, here is the test I've been waiting for. Multi-salt, let's give this a go. You can't get any more multi-salt than where I am, can you? We're in salt water. Operate, ground balance. Oh, that sounds nice. We'll ground balance down to 11. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 is all I can say for that. Oh, I reckon we might have a target there, guys. Okay, I'm going to mark that and come back to it because I just want to get this test done quickly on things that I've brought today. So I'm going to come back to that stone in a bit because the tide is going out. Look how quiet this is. Oh, guys, this is beautiful. I think we can safely say iron. And I've got the iron audio on. Let's take the iron audio off. Yeah, that weakens that even more. Oh, so far, guys, I'm not going to be able to argue with this. Oh, wow. You can hear how quiet that is, guys. You're hearing these targets here, but the tone it's making is not going to make me want to dig. Oh, wow. See that you're hearing stuff, but the numbers I'm seeing and the target that I'm hearing is not something I'd want to dig unless I was desperate. So... I'm going to say straight from the off, guys, that the multi-salt has got my vote. A big thumbs up from me. Whoop, whoop. Very impressed. All right, so I've got a bag of finds here, guys. These are common finds that I find on the beach when I go metal detecting. So I thought I'll take some out of my pot and let's bury them in the ground and see how this copes with these signals on the beach. So to save time, because I actually want to do some real detecting with this thing today. So to save time, I'm just going to dig one hole and we'll try them each separately and we'll see what numbers we get and what targets it comes in at. Right, so I've picked a spot here we're going to do the test on, so I'm just going to dig a hole here and go down about 10 inches or so. No, we won't because there's a big rock there. So let's move to here. <laughs> we picked a really bad area, guys. We are. Let's find a good spot. Ha! Here we go. This is a good spot. We can dig a hole down here. And you can see how wet and sloppy this sand is mixed with shingle. Let's do a proper test and see how these numbers react. All right, first thing I'm going to drop in is a bullet, as this is the most common find for me on the beaches, so let's see what these numbers come in at. And plonk that in the hole, keep it in a bag so it's easier to get out, because we've got quite a few things to test. I'll just cover that back up. And what you're seeing now is what I'm going to do with every single one of these targets. I just won't film all of them, obviously, because you don't want to see that every two minutes. All right, so the target's in the ground. Let's turn the machine on. I'll keep the headphones off so you can all hear what we're doing. Yep, that's a nice clear reading for me. Oh yeah, that's a clear, clear reading to me and something I would definitely be digging. And then the depth is at the max there on the screen. So I know there's something there. Let's see how it reacts if I kick away a little bit of the topsoil or sand in this case. See if we get a different change in tone. 
Yeah, you definitely know that there is something there that you are going to be digging. It's done. Next up, we'll do the pound coin. See how that flares up. Plonk it in the same hole. Cover it up. But that is a nice solid tone that you would dig all day long. To make this test fair, I'm going to keep it all the same. We'll have it open on zero. I'll keep the iron audio on. I'm going to ground balance it here on this bit here. Pump it up and down a few times until it sounds quiet and stable. Then let go. That ground balance at nine. Sensitivity is two off the top. We're going to keep it like that because that is how the machine comes when you first turn it on. So we're going to go keep the volume full. We'll keep the iron audio. I'll tell you what, the volume goes up to eight. So let's just put that at four, halfway. Obviously we're doing a multi-salt test, so we're going to keep it in multi-salt. So we're ready to go, and them settings are the settings I'm going to use for every single one of these targets, so we'll keep the test fair. Next we'll do a 50p, plonk that in the bag. Yep, I'll be digging that 50p all day long. Yep, that's a nice 50p in there. Thank you very much. Next up, we've got the two pound coin. If you're lucky enough to find one of them. Oh yeah. No mistake in there is a two pound coin for me down there. Thank you very much. Nice. 10 pence coin. Oh, nice. Thank you. 10p reading, coming in. Nice clear signals. 60, 61. Nice. Your modern penny. Penny tone. It's bouncing around a little bit there actually, but definitely got my attention. A very common find on the beach is a 20 pence piece. Let's give that one a go. Nice 20p tone. Yep, we're going to be digging them all day long. Bugger, it's a two pence coin. Comes in a lot. Um, and if you're wondering why these are green and tatty guys, it's because, like I said before, these are coins that I've previously found before. The 2p, nice, crisp, clear. Unfortunately, I am going to be digging lots of them. Five pence coin, little buggers, always popping up on the beach, they are. Yeah, now five p's have got the uh, iron core, haven't they? So. That is why that is doing that to the five P's. But it has my attention, and if I was having a bad day, I'd probably investigate that and give that a dig. But true testing on my channel, guys. No messing about. Right, let's move on to the pre-decimal coins, which you can find quite a lot of on the beaches. This is an old one penny, George V. Give that one a go, see what reading we get on that. Nice speedboat coming past, waving. Let's give them a wave and see if they wave back. Hey, we got a wave. <laughs> hey. Right, see how the big one penny does, guys? These targets are all roughly about, I'd say between four to six inches deep. And that is what you want to hear. An old pre-decimal one penny. Lovely, solid, crisp, clear tones on the beach. Beautiful. All right, let's try the half penny next. Very, very similar to the penny. Nice and solid, crisp tone. It is showing the depth that it is about where I said, four inches, six inches we've got there. That's assuming that this depth gauge is in inches, by the way, because it doesn't actually say inches or centimeters, I've just noticed. So you're a bit confused as to how deep that is. Hmm, that's something to note. A little farthing. Hopefully speeding through this now. This is a farthing. Again, same scenario. It would make me stop and dig it. Lovely clear tones, I've got to say. And look, I'm waving it around. Yeah, you can't argue with it, it's brilliant. There's no chatter. A threepenny bit, the old brass one. Not very brassy anymore. A 
again. I'm sure my mound's getting higher and higher and higher. And it is showing that I am a bit deeper. It's got four bars of depth now, which is showing I am buried a little bit deeper than I was a minute ago. But that's a brass far, uh, no, a brass fretman's. Coming in again at the 70s. And you'd dig it all day long, wouldn't you? Nice. Try an old round pound, because they do keep coming up on the beaches quite a lot, so we'll give that one a go. Again, lovely, crisp, clear tones in the 70s. You'd definitely be digging. It's an old little battered sixpence, we'll give that one a go. And there you have it, there's a nice, lovely sixpence. Again, free on the depth. Lovely crisp tone, you are not going to be missing that. Yes. You notice there's five tones with this machine as well. So that's all something to learn. And the last coin I brought with me today for all my American friends is a... Um, <laughs> you can see how much I find these coins. This one's actually a five cents coin. Um, yeah, don't know if you've got any slang terms for that, but we'll put it in the bag and we'll see what that reading that comes in at. An American coin on UK beach is reading in on the Garrett Ace Apex at a nice 55. So I would be digging that. We've got to try out these common little buttons, haven't we? It'll be interesting to see how this button comes in. There's just not a lot to it. Oh, wow. Yep. I can safely say if there's buttons here, I'm going to be finding them. Beautiful. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. On to different stuff now. This is a musket ball. One of my favourite finds on the beach. I love finding these. Let's get this one in there. Cover it up. I'm really tired of doing this now, guys. <laughs> I'm beginning to wish I hadn't started. We're getting 85... 85, 87 on the lead musket ball. Definitely something that I'm going to be digging. And this time we've got a free ringer bullet. We'll give that one a go and see how that comes in. Yeah, I suspected you're going to be digging that. And it's picking it up nice and clear. Lead fishing weight. I have no doubt that this is going to pick up a lead fishing weight, no problem. And yes, look at them high crisp numbers. Not going to miss any fishing weights then. Right, this time is a little silver ring that I once found. So we'll give that a go and see what numbers we get with that. Right, this nice silver ring. Let's see if this comes in. It's quite a thin ring, so I'll be interested to see. Wow. Yeah, so it's not as solid as the coins are, but you can definitely tell that there's a ring there. If you can hear this iron, this this horrible iron that's around that's because don't forget I've got the iron audio on and it's open to absolutely everything guys it's the fairest test you can do and that is the tone that you're getting for a silver ring and you are not gonna walk by without digging which pleases me somewhat and this time we've got it's a white gold ring also a find from mine on the beach all right, I've put this in probably about seven inches or so guys and I've laid it flat this white gold ring um, So it's a really thin edge. So we'll see how it picks it up or if it picks it up at all. I'm hoping it does obviously It's a white gold ring. Ah oh. Yep and There you go. There's the depth And there's the number you get on a white gold ring that's about seven to eight inches down on its side Oh, laying flat, sorry, with the fin size picking up. And you ain't not going to be uh, walking by without putting a bit of gold on your finger at the end of the day. Super job. And finally, guys, we are going to finish the test with this little bit of silver jewellery that I once found. And I'm so glad that this test is over because it has taken far too long. I want to detect. Let's uh, hope that this really does ping, and it does, guys. You can't argue with that. Nice, crisp. 85 86 and look at the depth guys again this last target i've put it as put it down quite deep because we don't want to be missing things like this and you are not going to be missing a screaming target like that lovely look at the state of this bag <laughs>
Easier recovery though. Wish all, wish all targets came in a bag. All right, let's turn this off for a minute because that concludes the test. Lovely old job. Right, let's get some real detecting done. Whoop, whoop. Right, I'm rearing to go, guys. I'm so desperate to get actually proper swinging with this and get some real detecting done. But we're running out of time today now after doing that test. But I'm glad I did it because it showcased what tones come in and what numbers and whatnot. So I'm pleased with that. So right, let's disc let's connect these headphones for the first time. So we hold that in. They're on. So let's turn this on. As you can hear, the headphones. Oh, they've instantly paired. When that stops flashing, they are connected. Brilliant. Right. Now to choose the setting. What setting am I going to have? Let's use it like I'd use it if I was uh, coming down on any normal day. So I'm going to put it in jewellery, iron audio, I'm going to turn that off. And sensitivity is two off the top, I'm going to keep it like that. Let's have a little go, make sure it's in multi salt, which it is. Let's ground balance it. Right, that's what I'm going to be using. Let's get on with it. Hopefully I can find a few targets and then I'll wrap this video up. But don't worry, there will be lots more coming. All right, headphones are going on. Let's do this. All right, I'm swinging away, guys. I know I've got the headphones on, so you can't hear the tones, but there is absolutely nothing happening. It is quiet. Oh, there was a little something there. There's something here. Yes, there you go. I've just winkled out what sounds like a little, little target in here. Let's go this way. Yeah, still picking it up. All right, so we've got a target here that's 60 in the 60s. Let's see how the pinpoint is. Right, it's telling me it's right here. Let's do this. Do you know what, guys? <laughs> I should have tested aluminium because that is the first target. It's a beach detectorist's nemesis. Bit of aluminium. I'm sure we can improve on that, though. Love it, though. Very quiet. Very, very quiet, which is what you want. Yeah, it's very, very quiet around here, so not a lot happening at all. I will test the... Oh, go away, I've got a target here. All right, it's definitely a target there I'm going to dig. And that was just under the surface, wasn't it? Let's see if we can see what it is. So, yeah, um, I will do some tests in the water. I've had a little play with it, it seems okay, but I want to do a, a whole video of just in the water, so we shall do that at a later date. Where's my target gun? Oh, I think this was just a little bit of aluminium, guys, again. Oh no, look, it was an iffy signal, wasn't it? It wasn't like, screaming in your ear, but it was just under the surface, and it is oh, a manky, a manky I'd say a gene popper that's all broken up to pieces, but still it picked it up nice, even though it was just under the surface. A um, load of junk, but that's what you expect on the beach, especially for me lately anyway. Let's carry on though. I've got to find a coin at least before I wrap this video up. I'm just going to show the transition from the sand and shingle into the yucky stuff at the bottom. And so far, so good. No chitter. No targets, neither. Let's get it in that water. Yeah, that definitely makes a difference. Yeah, there was a little bit of... Unless that's a target. Put iron audio on. Oh no, that's horrible. Yeah, let's move away from that. What I'll do, guys, is I'll do a, a whole video on detecting in the actual water itself. So stay tuned for that. We'll do that at a later date. Right now... I just want to get some detecting done, guys, because I am a detectorist. Don't forget that. <laughs> it's nice to showcase off the new machine, but at the end of the day, it was a gift. And then, you know, a present. And I want to use it. <laughs> so I will make loads of videos and showcase its true, full potential. And you can follow me along my journey by subscribing and coming back for lots more videos with the Garrett Ace Apex. Right, let's do two or three more holes and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. All right, just kick the stones here, guys. I've got my headphones on, so you probably can't hear it, but there is definitely a target in there. It was very, very quiet. Very quiet stretch of the beach. Luke's swinging up there, he's got the Ace 250 with Nell Tornado coil on. Um, and that is a coin hunter, that is. Um, but yeah, it's very quiet coming along this top bit, but I've just got a wispy little signal coming on in here. 
very very faint but there's definitely something that's caught my eye so I've just rubbed the stones let's go a bit deeper and see if we can get a more crisp crisper number come up let's give it a go oh no my handle's getting dirty look <laughs> oh it doesn't seem to be out I mean right the signal's gone so it's back that way right the signals have changed a bit ugly to be fair guys but it's quite a way down there and it's it's right down there and from experience of doing the beaches that normally turns out to be junk so I'll just see if I can prove it right I've just took another little spade out guys I can see the target now it's nothing great trust me but Oh, I'm not getting that now. I think I've just knocked it on its side. Yeah, yeah there's still a faint, a faint 55 in there. But it, all it is, guys, is it's a ring pull, which is obviously not great. But the depth we just got with that is absolutely fantastic. So you can't argue with that. Right, a nice solid 60. Guys, I've just scraped the surface. I think we're, we're almost there. Oh. Ah, modern 10p. Oh, we've got a nice target there. Right, we're going to make this the last one, guys, I'm afraid. I've got to go. All right, numbers are jumping around between 75, 75 and 76, 77. Let's give it a go. What is our target going to be? I wanted to get more detecting done today guys, but unfortunately the time has run away with us after my testing of the targets and what they sounded like. We're out. Oh no. No, no, no. It's a bit of, it's what I call an alley ball. It's a scrumpled up bit of aluminium. But the depth we're getting is, I can't argue with it guys. Alright, so I'm going to wrap it up there then guys. I came to the beach with a new detector. I've quickly showcased the signals that you're going to get with it. And I, I couldn't be more impressed guys, it's, it's brilliant. You get nice depth with it, nice crisp clear tones, no chatter. What more can you want? So let's put my hole away and then I'm going to go. I just want to say a big thank you to my missus, Gemma. Thank you very much for going behind my back, you sneaky little mare, you. And uh, organising this nice new detector for me from Regtons. All right, so stay tuned for more videos coming from me with the brand new Garrett Ace Apex. Until next time, guys, you got swinging, stay safe, good luck, and happy hunting all. Whoop, whoop.